A lot of the Drag Race alumni made their names by serving fish. But no one sells a fictional fantasy quite like these queens. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the Top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race Snatch Game Performances. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've selected the best Snatch Game performances in which contestants make celebrity impersonations from the reality competition series' first eight seasons, as well as the first two seasons of All Stars. Well, Julie, I just wrote anus. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, Pearl as Big Ange. It's Big Ange! Hi, RuPaul. I'm Hi, feeling Big very Ange. excited. It didn't take much to bring out the funny parts of the late great mob wife star Big Ange. The overdrawn lips, the huge boobs, and most of all, the huge personality made her perfect reality show material. And moreover, ideal snatch game material. The judges may have accused Pearl of phoning it in during challenges, but for this snatch game, that queen went to work. Well, you know what? In my family, we like to do it the old-fashioned way. You gut them like a fish. That's a match! Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Pearl clocked the voice, the mannerisms, and everything that made Big Ange lovable. Rest in peace, Big Ange. May your larger-than-life personality be one for the history books. What is your bra size? It's a medical mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Pandora Box as Carol Channing First up, Carol Channing is here. It's great to be here wherever I am. <laughs> Pandora Box's rendition of Carol Channing was the first introduction of the Snatch Game to the Drag Race audience, and this comedy queen's goofy gab was the perfect way to set the bar. Well, I, I, I said turkey legs. Turkey legs! <laughs> She's close! What better introduction to Snatch Game than a portrayal of a well-meaning but often left-field Broadway retiree? Channing was the queen of corny comedy back in her day, and Pandora portrayed a character as lovable as it was clueless. We deliver limes and lemons to all the people around in the neighborhood. And raspberries. And raspberries. With daughtery bewildered style, Pandora pulled out a performance of geriatric genius. Bob the Drag Queen later took up the character again for a win, but this rendition will always stay in our heart. I'm a little embarrassed, Ruby. Are you embarrassed? I'm a little embarrassed, because I just wrote, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> Number 8. Kennedy Davenport as Little Richard Are you feeling a little more tooty or a little more fruity? A little more tooty, baby! <laughs> it came as a real shock that Kennedy would have the nerve to do a Little Richard impression after all the times Michelle read Queens on the runway for boy drag. But it does take nerve, and the stunt paid off with Kennedy snatching the win. Kennedy's snatch game had all the falsetto glam rock grit Little Richard was known for, and the judges already knew she had the superstar diva attitude down. Dorothy Blanks, the Tin Man. She tightens the screws, cause we all love a tight screw. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that the often flamboyant rock and roll originator had a proclivity for lipstick and accessories. <laughs> Number 7. Sharon Needles as Michelle Visage Michelle Visage is here, hey! I might not be the biggest star here, but I got the biggest knockers, okay? <laughs> RuPaul may have applauded Sharon for her bold choice of roasting Michelle for the Snatch Game, but it was a really sharp move on her part. Anyone who watches Drag Race knows just how much RuPaul loves a good Michelle Reed. Speaking of plastic surgery, uh -huh. you chose to do Michelle Visage. I, I, <laughs> Sharon's over-the-top portrayal coupled with her encyclopedic knowledge of Rue and Michelle's early years made for a side-stitching performance. And you used to carry a baseball bat it's true. before we would work Suzanne Barge's party. We'd make a buffalo nickel for it. <laughs> and it was all we used for protection. It's clear that Sharon knows her audience and knows who's handing out the trophies. Even if Michelle was a little miffed by the older lady performance, that judge can take a joke, and the pair have since made up. Brilliant. Keep doing it. I just want to say, you know, thank you all and... I love you all. Number 6. Tatiana as Britney Spears Britney Spears is here! Hey, y'all! The youngest queen was the first winner of the first ever Snatch Game, proving she's not so innocent with a bang-on Britney impersonation. She played Britney Spears so well, it gave the guest judges goosebumps. But make no mistake, that performance was clever. When I was fat, yeah. Kevin liked to tip me in what he liked to call his man butter. <laughs> man butter! Her kooky missteps and idiotic idiosyncrasies would put even the most popular reality stars to shame. With her win in this challenge, everyone expected Tatiana to come back as strong in All Stars with Ariana Grande. But oops, she didn't do it again.
Huh. The last time I went that high, yeah. one of my dogs died. What did you do to the body? Number five, Jinx Monsoon as Little Edie. Direct from Grey Gardens, it's Little Edie Beale. Oh, hi, RuPaul. It was almost expected that this queen of comedy quirks would win the Snatch Game. Even if you didn't catch the reference, Jinx's performance played off a character that's easy enough to tease. And she'd already shown off her character acting chops in past challenges. <sighs> Now that you mention it, we never talk about food. <laughs> Little Edie was the star of Grey Gardens, the cult classic about an aging mother and daughter, cousins to Jackie O. Quite the scandal, actually. Yes. With my cousin-in-law, really. Yes. <laughs> it was in all the magazines at the time. It was the perfect character for Snatch Game, and Jinx brought out all the cat giblets and magnifying glasses that gather dust in many a shed in homes. The obscure choice ended up being a fan favorite. You could have gotten Leslie Caron yes. or Audrey Hepburn or any one of them. Instead, you got ketchup. Ketchup. Number four, Ben de la Creme as Maggie Smith. How are you, my dear? Well, past a certain age, one just feels fortunate to see the sunrise another day. Despite Bendela's sickly sweet drag persona and her pretty pinup looks, she still flew a little under the radar during her season. It was only in this snatch game that her true brilliance shone through. The Rupal. The Rupal, is it? Yes, absolutely. Rupal. I understood uh, virtually none of the words that left your lips moments ago. Exhibiting extraordinary versatility, this queen switched from her bubbly babe Ben Della persona to the proper Dame Maggie Smith as Downton Abbey's Dowager Countess of Grantham. With white gloves, cursive calligraphy, and a pretty snatched British accent to boot, Bendilla nabbed a cunning win that pulled her ahead of her competitors, at least for a little while. I did think that it would be rather amusing if there were libation flavored with citrus. <laughs> Number three, Chad Michaels as Cher. <laughs> I'm Cher, bitch. <laughs> when Drag Race fans talk about Cher, the first queen that comes to mind is none other than the Mother Dust. Chad built her career around Cher impersonations, going so far as to even invest in plastic surgery to give a more authentic look. I'm, I'm wearing the out of this headpiece. I paid a lot for it. So. Yeah, yes, you did. With several gorgeous outfit changes and impeccable mannerisms, Chad brought a level of attention to detail that could only come from years of crazed idol worship. I don't know why they booked me on these chicken gigs. I'm a an Oscar winner. Yeah. No one doubted that Chad had this snatch game in the bag, but to be fair, Michaels had years of experience. Many, many, many years of experience. He may not have won the season, but he believed in life after love and ended up coming back to snatch the all-star crown. Chad Michaels. <laughs> Number two, Bianca Del Rio as Judge Judy. Hey, Your Honor. Did you forget you were coming to court today dressed like that? You look like a damn roll of scotch tape. Well, I thought it was- Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. The courtroom was out of order over this impression. Who better to portray the notoriously strict TV judge than the queen of insult comedy? Bianca's no-nonsense shady ways align perfectly with Judge Judy's brand of daytime TV justice. I agree, and you know, I agree, and so does Officer Bird. <laughs> Bianca keeps her Rolodex of hate perfectly organized and executed, always sticking to the facts and sticking to her guns. Uh, Ru, yes. is, uh, is this girl over there a robot? Why does she sound like that? Is somebody pushing a button? Can I'm you talk normal? I'm talking! And, um, I'm talking! I think that's really rude. The beauty of her insulting art is the way Bianca still always managed to keep it fun, or at least entertaining, even when she was reading A Girl to Filth. The salt came across perfectly in Snatch Game, where she wasted no time laying down the hammer of shade on other queens' messy portrayals. Beauty fades! Yeah. Dumb as forever! <laughs> yes. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. How are the kids, Joan? Are you deliberately trying to embarrass me in front of these reporters? No. <laughs> I've thought words monsters for years in Hollywood. Yes, I know. And Nicole Smith is here. Black Mavali. Yeah. Want yeah. some money? Want a viper? <laughs> I gotta say, death really becomes her. Monique! Monique? Is there anything? Uh oh. Is, is Precious back there? Mm -hmm. She better be cooking me something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Alaska as Mae West. The original blonde bombshell. Mae West is here. I only do roll. Alaska ranked high above the competition. The key to a good snatch game isn't just about serving realness or cracking a few jokes. It's about responding to setups, keeping the jokes tight, and most of all, committing to the character. 
Alaska had already proven her Snatch Game prowess with her Lady Bunny impersonation in Season 5, but this All-Stars performance was the peak of her game show career. You know, I'm black by injection. Oh. <laughs> and with Roxy Andrews impersonating Alaska in the same game, the real Alaska 5000 even got to give herself a read. Uh, if you're not wearing wigs, then you're not doing drugs. With lewd irreverent grace, Alaska called forth the spirit of the original Queen of Crass, putting her own campy spin on all of Mae West's sultry signature lines. Alaska blew the lid off of the Snatch Game. But with a killer music career and millions of fans, did she really need to? You don't beat around the bush, do you, well, I Mae beat West? around the bush all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.